happy Tuesday. Isn't it feel like a Thursday? Or am I just crazy? Honestly, every day just kind of blurs into I don't even know. <laughs> I'm just here. <laughs> I got a sriracha toast. I was Stella. How was your trip to Berlin? It was so good, but I'm very glad to be back in my outfit. And it's like gray out so it's nice. I kinda like it. I kind of like like this. It's like fall vibes. It's very fall vibes. It's like it's like it's chill but not rainy. Yeah, exactly. What did you get? Very health as well. Oh, that looks good. Brown rice bowl. Oh, what is what are these? I think it's satan. Is it good? Can I try one? It's Sa really good. Satan. Satan. Mmm, it is good. It's crispy. Mm. Sit this way. Um, I need like to say. I told her about the whole visit I went to, the one where I cried. I literally cried. I don't know. I can imagine you. I literally was like standing there. There's so many kombucha flavors. I literally started, I just stood there and I literally like was holding my vegan sesame noodle with my kombucha and I was like, I'm so happy. And it's so much, they have a lot of these vegan yeah. bacon sections. It's like a donut flavor they have never seen. We have to go, so we're going to go. We'll be back with updates. Um, but we ate at Flore. It's a really nice, cute little place. Yeah. We thought it wouldn't be that packed because it's Tuesday, yeah, but um, the gang's all here. <laughs> also, thank gosh my car's still there. <laughs> Hello my iconic pals. Oh my oh my sweetie mama Okay, this guy just like randomly tried to turn left and then refused to turn left, so I now have to like cut him off because he made me go another lane. Okay. Basically I just got brunch with Stella, it was so fun. It was really cute, um like a little vegan brunch spot in Silver Lake, that's where we went. And right now I'm driving home. I actually have like a story time. My camera's like dying right now. If I, say, I, I don't, if I say like one more time, I always say that I'm gonna literally punch myself in the face. Like I need to make the conscious effort to not say it because the other day, yesterday I was in class and this guy was like talking, like explaining something and he kept saying like and I was getting so irritated and I was watching my own vlog and I was like, you, you're so annoying. So, I mean like self love, like I love me, but like improve the like. Basically my battery's dying, so if it does shut off randomly, I will continue the story later, but basically, you guys know I wear lashes like basically every day because I'm usually vlogging or I'm filming or I have an event, like I always have a reason to wear them. You know, if I'm just chilling, normally I would just put on a little mascara, but I do vlog a lot and I film a lot and so I do a lot of Skype sessions, so I kind of have to look put together a lot of the time. And it's really, I love like lashes, I've been wearing them for years, but it's just like, you know when like your inner corner's falling out or something like that, like I've been getting really frustrated, like at my, I had a shoot Saturday and my lash started coming off toward the end of it and I was like getting like irritated, like if you're a girl, you get this, like if you're your lashes coming off like you just feel gross like you feel like tacky almost like you look so good when your everything's on your makeup on and then like as soon as your lash starts peeling like your whole look just kind of like falls apart in a sense and like or in class it'll come off and probably wondering like oh why are you wearing lashes in class it's because usually right after i get home sometimes, sometimes i'll have like a skype session like literally right away i don't have time to like glue on lashes so i'm like i might as well just have them on Okay, this car is like scaring me, so I'm just gonna like go ahead and shoot on the Saturday and I have some events coming up and I'm just like, I don't wanna be bothered with like fake lashes for some reason. Like I was sitting in class yesterday thinking this is so hard. I'm like, I need to, I got lash extensions once and I honestly hated my experience because I don't know, I just, I don't want, I made a whole vlog about it, but basically my eyes are very sensitive and so my eyes are watering so hard and I kind of sleep like on my side and so I woke up literally the next day and like 40% of my lashes were gone and within two days they were all gone and it looked like trash and I like was like I'm just putting, putting fake eyelashes over these like I don't care and like I couldn't use mascara on those so like they just like they weren't big enough like I and I got like the fullest volume and they just like didn't look like even like these are like light fake lashes like these aren't like cute I've worn crazy ones like the huge lily lashes like the Kim Zoliak these are like smaller like I like like wispy nice but those are like so little and they all like fell out and I couldn't wear mascara at that time I was wearing a lot of liquid eyeliner and you can't really do liquid eyeliner over them but now I just do like if you watch my everyday makeup just like a smoky lash line and just some like light like shimmer on the lid a little like light matte brown in the crease you know something light and so I'm like I'm gonna try a new I'm going to a new woman I found her on Yelp she's 
like impeccable reviews like people her prices are a little high compared especially compared to the other place i went to um i don't want to say like yet if i'll talk about it if i do like i don't want to recommend it and i haven't even gone you know and so if i like it i'll talk about what it is but i'm gonna basically get them on today i have an appointment today i'm going home right now i'm just gonna chill for a little bit because i thought i, I left room in case we, our brunch went a little bit over time because like, i could still make it to the lash appointment but i have like 30 minutes to chill at home um well, i could actually work start actually actually do a quick like homework assignment um i'll probably i'll actually probably will just work on like a quick homework assignment um and then i'm going to my lash appointment and so i'm getting them like the uh, big voluminous ones and i hope it works out she has like insane reviews people are saying that like their eyes are sensitive and they stay on for so long and this way like i wouldn't have to worry about it for like the next two weeks and then i think i talked with before but i'm going on two trips in october so if i like them i'll get them refilled for the trips in october so i don't have to have hassle and then i'll get them off after that i'm i'm don't, it's not going to be a permanent thing for me only because like it's a lot of maintenance for stuff like if you're a girl like you, you know like i get airbrush spray tans and i get like blowouts and like you know it's like a lot and nails it's like a lot to keep up with if i have to add like a lash fill it's like another thing to keep up with and lashes are fine it's just like right now it's everything is like I, i'm just pretty busy and stuff which i don't, I don't want to say anything for sure because like what if after like october i continue i'm continuing to be like still so busy i may continue getting them i don't know i'm planning on getting them off definitely at the end of october when i'm done with all my traveling and stuff that's like my current plan but this is like i don't know like i don't i don't know if i even like them i don't even know if i'll get them refilled you know what i mean this is just like in my head what i'm thinking i'm like oh i'll have them for like basically like a month and a half and then like get them off because i'm fine with wearing fake lashes after that if i'm not like traveling too much you know what i mean like then i'm not like as an order not don't have like a bunch of shoots where like i'm all day by the water and it's like super windy and like my lashes are flying off you know what i mean so but yeah i'm gonna try that i'll give you i'll i'll give you like my review you'll, you'll see today in the vlog when i get them on i'm really excited um i hope it all works out because it would be great if this would work out for the next like month and a half it would like lower my stress <laughs> in a sense like I, it's not that big of a deal their lashes but i'm just like telling you like when you're at a shoot and like your lash starts falling off it's like okay now there's no point in taking photos and yes you can bring lash glue but like to touch it up to make it like look good again you have to bring like some eyeshadow brushes and like blend it you're if you're like i'm sure you guys get it i don't feel like i need to explain that to you, you know what i mean it's just like annoying or like yeah if i'm at an event and then like my lash is coming off like i feel like you just get self-conscious like i don't want to go talk to someone they're gonna be like this bitch's lash is coming off it's something so small so i just like i am like giving you a fair warning i realize it's not that big of a deal like in, in the grand scheme of things but you know if it's like something i can help it's whatever like you know um so yeah anyway i'm drinking a ginger ale kombucha they had one at the cafe but that's what I'm doing. And then when I get back from my lash thing, I'm filming two videos. I am going to film the Fenty Beauty review, which will be up on Thursday, I want to say. Yeah, I'm pretty confident. It might be a different video before that, but I'm 99. I don't like... I'm, now I'm like scared. I'm scared to... I never say something unless I'm 100% positive about it. Um, or like I'm manifesting it. But like, you know what I mean? So I don't want to give you a promise and then... Like, if I say something, like, I'm one of those people who, I don't know if anyone else is like this, but if I, like, say, like, I can do something or, like, yes to something, like, I'm, like, I don't, I'm not a flaky person, like, and I, like, like to, you know, obviously, like, life happens, whatever, but, like, I, if I say yes, that means I'm, like, 99%, 99.99% sure yes, you know what I mean, but I don't want to say, like, because I, I still, there might be a different video, but most likely, you know, Thursday, the review will be up, and then tonight, Ollie and I are going to an Urban Decay event, um, so I'm really, really excited about that. I'm just thinking, and I have this romper that I've been literally wanting to wear, like, so long that I just, like, there was nothing appropriate to wear it for. Like, I don't know, there was, like, nothing I felt resonated with me. And then I got invited to this event. It's, like, Urban Decay. They're having, like, a troublemaker for their new mascara event. And Nicole Richie's going to be, like, hosting it. She's, like, their trouble, like, one of their campaign people. And it's at Hubble Studios, which is, like, a really nice place and it's really cool all he said so i'm really excited for that whole experience like i love urban decay i like i love events great place great outfit always coming with me so when i get back from the lashes and filming i'll probably redo my makeup 
first, like for, like for the event, and then film, and then head out for the evening. So I have kind of a packed day today. Um, I'm not gonna be able to go to spin today, which is a little bit like alarming. Um, but I genuinely can't because the event starts at seven, and, and we're not even gonna get there on time. We're gonna I'm gonna leave my apartment at seven, so I'll get there like eight. But if I went to spin, I would get back at only seven thirty and only be ready by nine, like the earliest. So. Yeah, that's what's up. I'm really excited. I have a current playlist like that I made that I've been really liking. It's I think it's called So Excited. I showed you that one song that's just called So Excited. It's so good.